Hello, my name is Jerry Etheridge and I'm a member of the North Texas Battle Group. We uh, battle 144 scale warships. These are uh, ships that were built prior to 1945, either uh, World War I or World War II. We learn about uh, the battles in World War II and World War I and uh, we actually fire ball bearings at each other and sink each other. <laughs> the ships are electric powered. Uh, the guns are powered by CO2, just like a paintball system, but we're firing uh, ball bearings instead of uh, paintballs. The, the props are electric driven. And here's the motors for the props. And here's the prop shafts. Okay. Rudder control. And you can see the props over here. We have bilge pumps. And that's, uh, we start pumping water out when the water starts coming in the hole. But when more water comes out, then goes, I mean, when more water comes in rather than goes out, then we sink. When we do sink, a section of the superstructure will float up to the top with a string so that we can go recover the ship after it's sunk. And then we patch up the holes and go out and do it again. Great. And what, uh, do peop what are people learning the most about? Mainly, uh, how to fit out a ship to uh, run servos and uh, their motors. You learn about electrical wiring of the motors and relays and receivers and transmitters for remote control. Another part of the hobby is you learn about history. All these ships are based on actual ships in World War One and World War Two, and we make them to be scale models. And, uh, we fight Axis against its allies, and uh, so there's a history part of it, and a technical, electronic, mechanical, engineering part. Where can people find out more about your organization? There's our uh, website right here. It's uh, we're the North Texas Battle Group, and there's the website. We have videos and pictures, and we have links to other clubs and suppliers where you can buy the parts to make these ships. Great. Well, thank you very much, Jerry. You're welcome.